And now we are turning to an Iowa man who not only loves books, he loves the stores that carry them. Bob Manson is a retired teacher from Cedar Rapids. He runs a blog called Indie Bob Spot, where he documents his travels all over the country and the world to visit independent bookstores. Over the last 10 years, he has visited 49 states, three foreign countries, and 602 different bookstores. And we are so excited to now be joined by the Indie Bob Spot blogger himself, Bob Manson. Bob, thank you so much for being here with us. Nice to meet you, Shelby. Thanks for having me. Well, why don't we start off with what fuels this passion for you? Why do you love independent bookstores so much? Well, it began with a book, of course, uh, a book titled My Bookstore. And that book features essays by all these authors about their favorite bookstore and uh, edited by Ron Rice. And, and I decided, I looked at the, the book and, and the bookstores and I thought, well, I've heard of some of these. I think, you know, I'll, I'll try to visit some of these and, and have the person uh, at that bookstore sign their page. Well, 78 bookstores and I thought, hey, can I do that? I don't know. But then once I got started, it was just like, keep going, keep going, keep going. And as Ron Rice told me when I talked to him about this book, he said for every bookstore they put in the book, they could have put five more. And clearly, clearly uh, obvious that there's so many wonderful bookstores uh, coast to coast all over the country. And so that, that's how I got started. Well, you've been all over the country, 49 states. What is the last one to get to on your list? Well, the last one to get to is Hawaii. I've been to, to 49 states, all of them except Hawaii. That one is only uh, challenging, a little bit more of a logistical challenge than some of the others. So hopefully I can get there sometime. Well, you know, I was going to ask you, Bob, bookstore sales fell by nearly 30% in 2020, and things looked really bleak. But since then, we have seen an incredible bounce back. I mean, the American Booksellers Association says more than 200 bookstores are set to open in the next year or two. In your opinion, what has contributed to this turnaround? Well, this will sound really uh, counterintuitive, but the pandemic had something to do with it for a lot of the bookstores. In fact, after the shutdown, I thought, okay, I'm going to resume, but I'm braced for the worst. And I can remember visiting a bookstore and the owner told me almost apologetically, this has been our best year ever. And I think that, uh, you know, because people couldn't do anything, books all of a sudden grabbed their attention. And for the bookstores that carried puzzles, I had bookstores tell me those were so hot they couldn't keep them in. Hmm. So that was a big deal. And there were also a lot of bookstores that opened during the pandemic. And I think they already had their business plans in place and they, they just had to move forward. And that seemed to be a, a common theme with many stores I visited that over the pandemic and the shutdown that they did really well. So I thought that was really encouraging. You know, Bob, I could sit here and talk to you all day about this, but in our last few seconds, what sort of bookstores do you want to see more of? Well, there are a lot of niche bookstores that cater to certain uh, demographics or populations, which usually fit in the communities that they're located. I just like general interest bookstores, the, the bookstores that offer a little bit of everything, adults, a great children's section, uh, always active with events. Um, if they have the space and can do it, it's always nice to have a coffee shop attached to it. Bookstores like that, I think, are just are really, really successful. But I will preface everything I say that I have no background <laughs> in business or retail or bookstores. So really, you know, I've learned a lot for sure, but take anything I say with a grain of salt. <laughs> Well, Bob, I take what you say with a lot of weight. I mean, it's, your travels have been incredible. I love going through your blog, and thank you so much for joining us here today. Thank you for having me, Shelby. Thanks a lot. And hey, for you guys at home, we have a link to Bob's blo bookstore blog up on our website. All you have to do is click on the As Seen on TV tab at the top of the page.